Before we get into today's podcast episode, we are proud to announce the launch of Vice Clothing. This is something that myself and Project Vice have put together, which is an awesome way that we can do merch for you guys, but also have some fun making some designs. So the site is now live. All the links are down below. Without further ado, let's get into the podcast. Hi guys, welcome to episode three of the CyberVice podcast. Today, obviously we have myself, we have Project Vice, but also we are joined by Jetro. If you want to introduce yourself. Yeah, thank you guys so much. Um, I'm hyped to be here. This is the first time I've ever done a podcast like this, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Can't wait to kick it off. Let's go. 100%. I think this starts off like a bad joke. Uh, a British guy, a Canadian, and an Australian walk into a bar. <laughs> <laughs> We're taking over the world. <laughs> Um, so I think the first topic we'll kick off with is we'll just go in the, the order of the list that we wrote them and I think we'll start off with what will GTA 6's gameplay be like and um, yeah I mean who wants to kick this off? So I think with GTA 6's gameplay I think probably what we want to try and hope to see is I think a lot of people in the GTA and Rockstar Games community have been hoping to see something that's similar to the Max Payne 3 sort of gunplay which is you know very smooth um, moving between cover this and that and I think even what we saw in the leaked footage back in September of 22 it seems like rocks are maybe going for that approach um there was a particular example that we actually did see in one of the leaked clips of the police cop moving in between cover when they, when he was actually adjusting his body height in relation to the height of the wall so that would be really interesting to see how rockstar will approach from you know five to six but i think a lot of people are thinking or hoping that it'll be similar to max Payne 3 what, what are you guys thoughts on that yeah um honestly like as far as the gameplay i actually thought that gta 5 is like one of my favorite games of all time and i thought the gameplay like while maybe not like perfect it definitely was like one of the best i've ever played so as long as they just kind of like enhance what we already had in gta 5 like i'll be happy like as long as it's a lot of the same but just better in every way the gunplay the driving stuff like that like i'll just be happy mm. yeah no I'm, mm. I'm i'm with you on that as well i think like i don't feel like gta 5 had anything wrong with it I just feel like maybe in Red Dead Redemption 2, they really did expand upon the way that like movement and people looked real, the way that a gun recoil behaved more realistically and characters in general just behaved more realistically in the world compared to GTA 5. GTA 5 was more arcade focused, even the driving, for example, it was a very arcade focused mm. game. But that also being said, like GTA 4, the hand to hand combat and that was just a league above anything Rockstar's done since. I hopefully that they take what they had in GTA five combine it with some elements of gta 4 and enhance it the same way they did in red dead redemption 2 and we should be left with really nice feeling gameplay yeah no I, I totally agree i totally agree i think the thing problem with gta 5 is i think that from my it's i think the gameplay is still pretty good it's i think it's a step above what it was in gta 4 but i think at times it can feel a bit sluggish like even when you're moving in the interiors of buildings or whatever like going up the stairs or whatever it can feel from my perspective anyways i don't know if you guys had the same sort of opinion on it but i think it just feels yeah a little bit sluggish at times um i know that sometimes i just go first person and you can actually move a little bit quicker in first person so it'll be interesting to see how rockstar what rockstar's take will be on it once yeah once six comes out so yeah 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 you're not wrong like it, it definitely feels sluggish at times especially like mm. the one thing that i just thought about that cyberboy said is the hand-to-hand -hand combat like especially like when it came to like npcs like at most times you like one hit them and they're on the ground and dead like like you don't really get anything from it so i i would love for that to be i guess enhanced upon way more because that was yeah like the hand-to-hand -hand combat is probably the one thing that i think could use like a pretty big revamp but still good nonetheless topic number two vehicle physics for example deformation driving mechanics etc can i start this one off yeah of course yeah go man. Oh, you guys are too nice <laughs> <laughs> vehicle deformation is something that i feel gta 5 just really lacked on obviously gta 4 had the way more realistic vehicle dynamics like you crash a car and the area that's hit is the area that crumples a lot of people have said that they want it to be like a one-to-one -one real world simulator for example things like beam ng for example like the, the crash physics and that are unreal they're so good and they're so meticulously thought out i think there's kind of two points on 
on that aspect. Firstly, that requires a lot of like graphical CPU and a lot of game engine work to make that work in conjunction with an amazing story, with a compatible online, with long missions, with a big world. There's a lot of elements there that may cause Rockstar to maybe have to simplify the crumple physics for cars. But in GTA 4, if they if they just went back to the GTA 4 model, it would be fine, I think. The only thing that I didn't like from GTA 4 was the vehicle handling. It was too boaty. Like you turn a corner and it felt like the wheels were going to fall off. Mm. <laughs> so yeah, I I'm hoping we get a happy medium between GTA 4 and GTA 5. And of course, with the increased functionality of maybe the cars looking and feeling a little bit more realistic. But yeah, what do you guys think? Uh, Project Vice will hand over to you first. Um, yeah, no, I fully agree with you. I think, yeah, in, in, it was a massive downgrade from GTA 4 to GTA 5 in terms of the, the you know, vehicle, vehicle deformation. Um, and even this, the driving in general, like from 4 to 5, it's obviously much more arcadey. 4 was way too birdie. Like even just turning around a corner, like... <laughs> It's just, yeah, it was just way too, way too, I don't know if I would say realistic, yeah, perhaps maybe you could say that, but it just felt like it was, yeah, too weighty. Um, yeah, in five, like like I said, that was much, it's much more arcadey. If they find a perfect medium, like you said, between four and five, that would probably be the best approach. Um, and I think also in terms of, there was actually even an article that came out, look, whether, whether it's, you know, reputable enough or not, that the crashes will affect not only the exterior of the vehicle but also the interior i think that'd be pretty interesting i, I like to say, i don't know how rockstar will go about that as well um but yeah in terms of the actual driving mechanics i think yeah a mix between four and five would probably be yeah the best thing to go for i would say, I would say. yeah i didn't actually Jetro? yeah sorry i uh i didn't actually mm. know about that internal uh internal damage that actually sounds pretty cool actually um mm. I, I think in gaming the big thing is that especially for a series like gta you want realism but not too realistic, if that makes sense, right? Because mm. if it's too realistic, yep. it kind of takes away from the gameplay and like having fun aspect of the game, if you will. Obviously, I don't want to like run into a pole while running, while, you know, getting chased by the cops and like my wheel falls off or something like, like, you know, yeah. you hit a pole <laughs> in real life, like you're done. Like that, yeah, yeah. That, that's it, yeah. right? So I think yeah. the whole thing that they have to do is just like you said, find like a happy balance of just kind of like realism, but not too much to the point where it's hindering gameplay. Yeah, hundred percent. You've, you've yeah, nailed it. Agree. There. Nailed it. Nailed it. Yeah. It's not so much about go. the physics, but I would love for them to add steering wheel capability. Like I, mm. I don't know. I, I I think Cyber has talked about this in the video, and it would be kind of weird to be you know swapping from wheel to controller and whatnot. But I think that would be so cool. I've seen so many mods about it, and that just looks like it, it just looks so much fun. Like I would love to have my wheel set up and then just swap over to a controller when I'm not driving. I feel like yeah, that'd be sick. Saying, I think yeah, yeah, it does sound. I cool. think that'd be cool yeah. in a boat as well. Like mm. just I need to I need to shoot your boat about eh? boats. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Cyber boats. Cyber boats. Cyber boats. <laughs> Fun the boat. You know what? If we get to a million subscribers, I'll get a boat tattoo. Yeah, all my days. <laughs> to be honest, I'll, awesome. I'll do it. I'll do it at fifty. I can see that happening. Yeah, I'll do it at fifty k yeah. subscribers. I've got some really bad. If you're bad at a tattoos. million subs, you can buy the boat. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good point. That is a good point. <laughs> the next, the next point is yeah. So this one's the the artwork that came out officially from Rockstar. Um, the one we saw with Jason and Lucia sitting on top of the hood of the the vehicle. It's pretty much what I wanted to sort of go over in this one is in that artwork, you can see the GTA logo up the top above them and then the six logo coming 2025 down the bottom. Pretty much what a lot of people have been speculating in the GTA community, and I just thought to bring it up within this podcast for today as a topic, um, is that we may see a separation between GTA as a franchise and then GTA 6 more like separate to that. So I think what some people are thinking is that maybe that may become two separate entities. Um, and this is probably an extension of what we talked about in the previous podcast that um, in terms of topics that GTA is evolving world over time, uh, that... Uh, the online component's probably just going to have multiple cities being added in terms of like map expansions, DLCs, post-launch. Um, I want to see your guys' take on it because is has Rockstar purposely done this to have... Um, to make us think to plant the seeds that gta 6 will just be you know jason and lucia's story and then gta as a franchise will just be the online component that will just be evolved over a period a long period of time so yeah yeah what are your guys no, I'm thoughts with on, you on that i'm definitely with you on that like i've mm. i've seen some stuff about it as well uh, on twitter the only thing that worries me about it is i think i'm more worried about if it is true because i think the actual identity of grand theft auto especially with the introduction of gta online obviously when gta online first came out it was pretty much GTA 5 
and its online component. And then in like mm. 2015, 2016, 2017, and especially into the pandemic, it became more about GT Online as its own separate I- identity and IP. I think that potentially Grand Theft Auto 6 and the next version of online could be, for all intents and purposes, completely different entities. For example, they could separate it out from like your main account. Like for example, accessing GTA and then going to GTA Online could be a whole different experience. GTA Online could be predominantly online based as in it's not a physical game that you play, you access a server to play it. Obviously, currently Mm. GTA uses Mm. the peer-to-peer model. If they go to server based, that does open up the option in the future for it to be its own separate IP. And, you know, obviously we we don't have any information either way on this. Obviously, we're just theorizing here. But like, I do think it's a very interesting topic, the fact that the distinction between Grand Theft Auto 5 and Grand Theft Auto Online has got further and further away from each other over time. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, Jetro, what's your thought? Personally, I don't I don't know much about it being being separate as like from GTA 6 and GTA Online, like them being um, them being separated. But I, I'm pretty positive that GTA 6 is almost already confirmed to be a part of the HD universe for Rockstar Games. So I guess that already kind of like correlates the two stories together so i don't really see them being separated but uh, again until we get the game we won't really know yeah that's right i think it's like it's everything we see so far obviously doesn't really tell us a lot it does tell us obviously they're going to be an inclusive thing together like we're going to be expecting another gt online to come with gta 6 in some capacity but i think rockstar's actions well not really rockstar let's be honest it's all take two but take two's actions over the past Mm. like maybe 10 years not 10 years let's say eight years um, especially the past five years has moved towards more of a online monetization model and to be honest i don't obviously this is slightly off topic but and we'll cover this a bit more in um topic number nine on the list but i think like the monetization of gt online i don't really have a problem with as long as we get value if it's just buying cars guns and weapons and all of that i'm not really too bothered like i, I i'm not interested but if we actually get stuff like actual cool houses we can buy rather than just apartments for example like if they do separate out gta 6 online and have a separate monetization model that actually gives people value for the in-game transactions they pay for i'll never complain about gta online ever again welcome to, welcome to yeah. cyber boys rant channel um <laughs> <laughs> no i think you uh, no i definitely think you make a good point that as long as you know if you're spending money and you're getting value for that money at the end of the day like the people who are buying shark cards are the people who are supporting Rockstar making GTA 6, basically, right? Like, yes, that's yeah. the reason they've made so much money. So mm. it it is obviously a good thing for people to be supporting them. And if you're getting if you're getting more value than you do with GTA 5 in GTA 6 for your money, then I'm gonna be happy. I think we'll I think we'll be happy. <laughs> I think if if there's more if there's more there then in terms of content and stuff rather than just you know buying a new vehicle or whatever that's gonna add to you know er, for everyone really in terms of the value. So well hopefully we'll, we'll see what Rockstar does. Yeah, hundred percent. Cool. Well, I'm gonna start off mm. with point number four. What will the ending of GTA 6's story be? For example, will Lucia and Jason's fate be similar to that of Bonnie and Clyde? This is such a good topic. I love this. <laughs> yeah. Um, as much as I, and I know that the Bonnie and Clyde almost buzzword has been going around for a long time. I, I just don't, I don't see it playing out like Bonnie and Clyde only due to the fact that it's too predictable. Like, especially yeah. with mm-hmm. how much that it has been yeah, yeah. referenced over GTA 6's development. It's just way too predictable for them to make an actual Bonnie and Clyde like story. I genuinely think that if the story came and that was the ending that there would be a lot of people upset online oh for like, sure rockstar sure. is known for just like yeah. the, they twist it they 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 do something you're not expecting and so with how much bonnie and clyde has been thrown around i don't see it following the same story i get that it's two criminals who are a couple and they're you know, in a love quarrel or whatever, but I just don't see it following the same story. It's too predictable. Yeah, no, I'm 100% with you there. Like, I feel like because I mean a good example is Red Dead Redemption 2. The good thing is it was it was based on mm. a period of history, but it wasn't based on a particular story that we know. And Rockstar would always write and produce their own games. They're really good storytellers, and what they're not going to do is make a documentary style piece which is based on true events. 
they may be looking at Bonnie and Clyde like, cool, a dynamic love du duo, partners in crime. But I think that's the only thing that they're going to be taking. Maybe they take like a mission here or there, which is based on something that Bonnie and Clyde did. Maybe that's as far as that resemblance will go. I think what they're doing is, is Bonnie and Clyde's relationship together as a duo is probably the best summary of Jason and Lucia, but it doesn't mean that we're going to be watching a... <laughs> the storyline of Bonnie and Clyde because if you want to watch the storyline of Bonnie and Clyde you can go and read a hundred books or a thousand documentaries that have been made about it yeah yeah um, exactly yeah that's yeah fine. no I mean Pro Project Vice what's your thoughts yeah no I, I think to Jetro's point they're not gonna you know <laughs> end it with a cheap sort of ending similar to Bonnie and Clyde's fate like uh, rocks are, are obviously taking inspiration from that real life you know couple and the story that you know that involved between the both of them but my my sort of takeaway is and I don't know there's a theory going around in the community obviously this is all speculation of course like with anything at the moment um that in trailer one we saw uh jason wearing sort of like a greenish sort of bandana and then uh lucia with like a red bandana and then in uh red Dead redemption 2 um arthur was wearing the same sort of color bandana i think it was like green or, or black and then dutch with a red one so does this mean that lucia is going to be sort of the potentially like the one that's going to turn on jason um in the end i, I don't know what, what's your guys' thoughts on that theory i hope not i hope not <laughs> Mm. I think there's there's two sides to it. Like Rockstar, oh, I hate I hate talking about this, but watch watch, watch the comments after this section. Rockstar aren't gonna go. <laughs> Rockstar representing a female in the game isn't their attempt at being woke or anything like that. It's just a no, it's no, just no, no. it's just a cool way for them to play on something that they haven't done since the top down games. Um, it's just a yes. cool little thing for them to do. I don't think Lucia will be trading anyway as like part of the demise. I think the I think the demise of Jason and Lucia, if there is one, obviously we know the emphasis of the word trust in the trailer mm. you know that is probably from a cinematic point of view implying that that here's here's the weak point here's where things can go wrong and this is what their relationship is based on trust and for something to go wrong in a relationship based on trust that trust must be broken we're getting down the rabbit hole of speculation here but um like oh, i feel, course, I feel course, like yeah. um there's a reason for that being in the trailer whatever that reason might be but i don't think that it would be particularly either jason's fault or lucia's fault maybe one of them makes a mistake maybe one of them mm. has to rat out to the police and blames the yeah, other yeah exactly mm. exactly um the plot of the storyline and the way that the storyline is going to be carried is going to be hung on the word trust not necessarily whether jason or lucia is a bad person and i don't think this whole mm. there's a lot of people thinking that jason could be an undercover cop and all of this and whilst mm, it'd be yeah. cool like mm. it's has been done i mean um the fast and the furious one and two touched upon yeah. that miami so in this part of the podcast we just started waffling for a bit i've decided to keep it in but let us know in the comments if you want us to keep our random discussions and waffling in the podcast let us know enjoy well especially yeah. number two touched upon that miami betrayal brian l spilner brian, brian, <laughs> brian l spilner <laughs> Family. Oh man, those movies are the yeah, best. Family, bro, family. Yeah, <laughs> yeah those movies are so <laughs> family good. Rare. So good. <laughs> but I, yeah, too fast, too fast. The, the, the only, the best. The yeah, only reference to Fast and Furious that I really do want to see in GTA is when uh, on the second Fast and Furious when they jump the car onto the back of the boat. The oh, Dukes of Hazzard. Yeah, that, oh, that would be yeah, sick. Yeah, yeah. That would be sick. If, that, oh, if that's not in the that game, scene. if that's not in the game, I will be sad. But <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. That, that literally <laughs> happened in the Florida Keys. Cyber wants to do anything that involves a boat anything yeah, that yeah, involves yeah. a boat so, <laughs> cyber is there someone someone asked me someone asked me oh, um, i did a q a last sunday <laughs> night and someone asked me do i think boats would be in gta 6 and i wasn't really sure what to say that's sorry if you're watching this but that was a very silly question <laughs> <laughs> is that even a question yeah it was genuinely you a question them in the trailer <laughs> yeah. i counted them um so there is 59 boats um and jet skis <laughs> and watercraft in the trailer of course you're yeah i know, I know. <laughs> there's, oh there's 59 watercraft including boats and water including the, the fan bow and boats on trailers and jet skis this guy oh is not God. when gta 6 online launches he's not going to be doing any of the content we're just no. going to find him out no. at sea some random part <laughs> by the bermuda triangle and he's just going to be gone oh my I'll, be, God. I'll be honest so oh for, for a live stream next week um i'm probably going to cut this out of the podcast but i've ordered a captain's hat <laughs> like oh <laughs> no way that's yeah. sick <laughs> That's sick. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I know. Oh, uh, your fans will love that. Oh, that's hilarious. That. I think, I think, I think it'll be a great bit. I think it'll be a great bit. Thoughts about a Rockstar employee Twitter leak? Okay, I mm. I actually researched this last night because you put it in the chat and I, I searched on Google Rockstar employee Twitter leak and I actually couldn't find anything. So I would love for you guys to kind of fill me in. 
yeah so it's been a bit underground um but i only found out about it because i had a couple messages on instagram a few people on my discord and like twitter just you know the algorithm does its thing and it threw it up to me but basically um i did a video about it today um well when people see this it, it will be two days ago basically a rockstar employee posted a photo quote unquote in brackets photo to um, twitter but what he did is he screen recorded his camera roll then clicked the photo then uploaded the video of him clicking the photo now oh oh yeah okay yeah i watched your video about this that's yeah. what, okay so that yeah. makes more sense yeah yeah mm -hmm. so i in my opinion i feel like yeah so firstly that the person the name of the account is a rockstar employee i did my due diligence on that however this all being said it doesn't mean that he posted it and it doesn't mean that particular twitter account was his so there's two sides here there's firstly there's no proof that him him himself directly made that post it could be someone just going to linkedin or facebook finding a rockstar employee and then just making that post and the final thing is the underneath the main tweet underneath someone's replied with is the image enhanced and it's a closer up screenshot of that because in, in that camera roll section sorry when he was screen recording it showed part of an email from rockstar at the very top of the camera roll but the second message underneath was like someone had enhanced the image quote unquote enhanced the image and it was a way clearer screenshot the um the email from rockstar now i found the original video mm. and i tried to, to actually screenshot it and enhance with ai that particular email and you couldn't enhance it i feel like the person replying to the tweet was also the person that created the quote unquote leak i feel like the whole thing is just fabricated for clicks um that's why like in my video earlier i was like there's so many different elements here that like we don't know it's the actual employee from rockstar we don't even know the, the leak is real rockstar haven't made a comment on it take to interactive haven't tried to get it removed and also that one particular screenshot happened to include loads of information about weather systems bugs and all of this what's the likelihood of that all being in one email from rockstar i just i'm not buying it that's my that's my take yeah i doubt it i i ain't buying it i ain't buying it i did i did see this uh, yeah i did see your video that you covered on it i didn't really take too much notice to it but um from what i can understand was it the story the story length that was that came well, out from what i can understand so that it was what, were, 40 hours yeah, or something people were saying it was a story yeah. length but another another yeah. tweet which is by the person that screenshotted and enhanced the image originally clarified it's not about story hours it's about um testing like a segment of the game or something it was nothing to do with the hours or the length of the game or something like that so i feel like for this one person mm. who happens to yeah, there's one person that kept enhancing the image and being really active on Twitter about it. It's very likely that's just an alternative account for someone that's created the leak, in my opinion. Like, I've seen, now that you mentioned what we're talking about, I, I've seen both the enhanced version and, like, the screen recording from your video. And do you guys remember when the trailer came out and that the picture that you had mentioned, Project, about uh, them sitting on the car and there was that what looked like a map in the bottom right of the oh uh, yes of the screen yes 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 and yes, remember yes. how a bunch of yep. people started enhancing that image to try and get it to like look like an actual map yeah. those yeah. those enhancements look way worse than the better version of this tweet and so yeah, yeah. i i yeah, don't I think there's saying. any way that someone could have enhanced that small two by two image in someone's camera roll into like a coherent uh not a screenshot. chance like it just doesn't make sense no the mm -hmm. only like, way that I... could have been done is if the person that actually screen recorded the camera roll took the screenshot themselves and zoomed in that's the only exactly the only way it's possible and that just to me that just makes it fake like like to to post yeah. this weird yeah. cryptic video of a screen recording and then oh my god there's a rockstar email there like let mm. me enhance this into a 1080p picture it, it yeah, just, that's it right. It just doesn't like it. It just doesn't make <laughs> nah, sense to me. It doesn't add up. Nah, Some fishy. I, I ain't buying it. Yeah, no, I ain't buying nah. it. Nah. Uh, cool. Well, we can put that one to bed. So, um, yeah, a, a lot of people Perfect. are still messaging me about it, asking me to cover it. So, if you haven't seen mm. the video, I've covered it. I've debunked it. Um, watch the video. Like, subscribe, <laughs> buy the merch. <laughs> 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 Click off this. Go Click, watch it. Go go watch it. Click off. Pick it. up the Cyberverse merch. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs>
birthday. Um, right, next point is one second. Let me read my notes. I've, I'm on my second beer. I just only have one beer a week. Um, but he said that in the message too. He's like, what? One a <laughs> yeah. week. One a week. One All a right, week. two a day. <laughs> All right, two a day. <laughs> two, 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 two a day. Just, just, just vodka twice a, twice a day is fine. In fact, I'll kick this one off because this is one of the ones that I put in. Um, will GTA 6 have any parts of the South Americas? Originally, it was supposed to. Oh, wait, no, that's me reading my notes about the topic. <laughs> 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 Will GTA 6 have any parts of the South America? So, originally GTA 6 was called Project Americas. That was the internal name and when Jason Schreier used to work for Kotaku a number of years ago, he reported on it. He was one of the first people amongst some other channels and some other YouTube um, news reporting channels that reported that GTA 6 internally is called Project Americas. Now, in like 2019 into 2022, somewhere between that time period, there are a lot of rumours coming out that the game would be effectively dumbed down. Certain elements weren't going to be included now and they were just going to focus on the core fundamentals of the game a lot of people have asked me whether i think that there'll be any parts of like the south americas or even things like the bahamas and cuba and stuff i do think that there is maybe some weight to maybe seeing a mission or two in the bahamas or cuba yes, like we had yes, um with yes, gta yes, i was gonna yeah, say it's like north yeah. yankton with gta 5 like it wasn't an important yeah. part of the story yeah. but it still was a throwback so i think that there is some weight to believing that however you know at the point of the south americas potentially being pulled from the game it doesn't mean that whilst the project was called project americas that they had actually started any development on the south americas we have no reason to believe or prove that any development had begun on that so if they'd axed it early on maybe that could be introduced in the future with potentially a dlc or something but yeah. as it sits at the moment we have nothing to suggest that's the case other than the fact that Obviously, when the source code for GTA 5 was leaked, we were aware we were supposed to get DLC for GTA 5, which never happened. Potentially, Rockstar might so make sad. that up to us in GTA 6. Who knows? I, I think the thing is with, yeah, to, to your point anyways, I think we'll most likely see any parts of whether it be south america like the cuba or bahamas I, I would say that would most likely be just like in a mission similar to yeah gta 5 in north yankton or even rdr2 with guama um that would most likely be because i think to to the point where jason shire reported on in regards to this that it was meant to include large swaths of north and south america in terms of those um particular territories um yeah i i i'd say i'd say that's probably going to be something that may occur as like yeah just a mission or something that's probably just going to occur as like post-launch dlc or whatever or just like as a map expansion but whether that's online or to singapore or with the single player i don't know um obviously we all don't know but um y y yeah i i think it just the the ambition was obviously they had to reel those ambitions in because it just must have been too much for, for in terms of development time they they thought to themselves yeah, best to just scale things back what do you think what's your thoughts jetro yeah i've seen a lot of theories that you know covid kind of well one covid and Dan Hauser too, especially leaving mm. the company, were like two very big shifts for GTA 6. Yeah. I don't know if there's uh, again. I don't know if there's any you know actual fact about it, but that is a theory I have seen a lot. And but I was actually thinking about this exact topic when I was making my leaks video. Um, because we heard about San, uh, South America like all the way back in 2018. It was like literally one of the first yes, things we yes. ever heard about the game. Um, yeah, that's and then it. really other than Jason Trier, we never heard about it again. So I, mm, I think mm. I think it's pretty safe to say that we at least won't get it on launch. Again, I'm speculating, yeah. but due to the fact that we didn't see anything from the leaks, we don't know, um, we haven't heard anything about South America since all we hear is Vice City, but we do know that yeah, the map yeah. is going to evolve over time. So mm, I do think mm. that we will see it eventually, kind of like, uh, like you said, North Yankton or even Cayo Perico, mm. something like that. Yeah, oh yeah, um, yeah that's right, yeah. yeah so yeah. I, I do think they will add it in the future, but I don't think it'll be a part of GTA 6's story. I think in terms of launch, like actual just, it's just going to be Vice City and then just yeah, the state of Leonardo, whether mm. it's over, yeah, like to post, yeah, post-launch DLC or just like a mission or or, so, or, one, or a cutscene or something like that, that will probably most likely be, perhaps, I, I actually kind of think it will maybe be a part of the story as like a mission or a cutscene, but in terms of actually just, you know, free, roaming or whatever at launch it's just going to be vice city and leonardo to start with that's it yeah, that, yeah that's yeah. that's what i'm gonna that makes sense yeah yeah i think it's very similar yeah, with yeah. like um a good example is of gta 4 obviously we we didn't have like map expansions but we had different people's stories we had like the ballad of gay tony the lost and the damn dlc and maybe with gta 6 there could be a dlc in the future which has another set of 
another set of stories that take place in Leonida, and maybe there's the odd mission here or there mm. in a small mm -hmm. island off the coast of America, maybe like Cuba or the Bahamas or something. Um, but obviously, if, if we're, yeah, if we're cool. just basing it off the information we have, we know that the game was supposed to be bigger yeah. than it's going to be. What that means, maybe reading between the lines, potentially DLC in the future, but at the moment, mm. we have nothing to, to believe either way. With the evolving map, like I, I genuinely think that this time around, Rockstar is going to do everything in their power to keep GTA 6 alive for as long as possible because this game has yeah, cost them yeah. already a reported one to two billion dollars and <laughs> that's insane and with the amount of revenue that GTA 5 acquired even after what it's been almost mm. 11 years now that we've had GTA 5 and it still makes like 500 million dollars every year so I genuinely yeah, think that's that like <laughs> Like, they will just keep expanding. It's kind of hard to put into perspective, but I think that GTA 6 at launch will be nothing compared to what it is five years down the line. Yeah. It's kind of like yeah. GTA Online. Yeah. Like, they, like, yeah. GTA Online is nothing like it was when it launched in 2013. And I think GTA 6 is going to do the same, both single player and online. Mm. Yeah, 100%. And we're yeah. not, that's not even talking about next gen consoles yet. Like, Oh my gosh. Yeah, dude. so dude, oh, dude, oh dude, God, that's yeah. that's something I bring up yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. people don't even realize how good the game is gonna like um, imagine how it looks now and then imagine how GTA five yeah. looked when it released. Yeah. Like in But GTA two, five still looks good now. Oh one hundred looks really good 100%. now. <laughs> but I mean but like obviously it's been updated over time. Yeah, sorry. But I mean you wouldn't say that going back to the Xbox three sixty is what I'm saying. You yeah, know what yeah, I true. mean? Right, true, like true. now that we have yeah, it on yeah. the Xbox uh, Series X, yeah, like it, or PC, yeah, it yeah. looks amazing, right? So, yeah, 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 yeah. Imagine what GTA Six will look like in. I mean, I'm getting way ahead of myself, but imagine in like seven yeah, years but... on the PS Seven or whatever. Like it's gonna yeah, look, yeah, unbelievable. Yeah, but I think the thing is, like, even on GTA Five at the moment, obviously it's been updated over time to the next gen consoles or current gen, however you want to word it as at the moment, mm. PS Five, Xbox Series X and S. Um, but it's still using those old like assets from GTA 5 from the 360 and PS3 anyways when it was first, you know, um, when they first developed it for those uh, older systems. So if 6 looks this good, well, it does, you know, in trailer 1 at the moment, can you imagine when next year when it comes out? Like, oh, man. Pfft. Crazy. Oh, man. So to round the segment up, the scope for the game, obviously, we've got great expectations for, for the PS5 and PS5 Pro, but what it's eventually going to be. It's like it's uh, gonna be incomprehensible. Like, I mean, when when unreal. GTA Five came out on the PS3 and Xbox 360, it looked incredible for the time. Like everyone was like, "This is insane." But you gotta remember, like the gameplay mm. was in 720p. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Like, that's, 30 that's FPS. Insane. 30 FPS. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So I. I yeah, it's, it's, it's mental. Um, trailer 2 predictions. How will they show Jason? So Jetro, I'll let you kick this one off. I wanted to have a little bit of fun with this, actually. I, I, I just wanted... I was just going to make some bold predictions of just exact things we will see in trailer 2. Boats. So, boats. Boats. <laughs> boats. Boats. <laughs> but boats, you already boats, got that boats, in boats. trailer 1. <laughs> trailer 1 was kind of just like... It was showing off the graphics and the scenery. That's... And the... I guess uh, NPCs or you know character models and stuff like that, right? They really just wanted to sh to highlight what the game will look like, and I I'm, I loved it. But I think in trailer two they're gonna start to do they're gonna start to show some more additions to the game that we don't have in GTA Five, right? So like in trailer two for GTA Five was actually we didn't know it at the time, but it's actually when we saw this starting of the uh, game where Franklin and Lamar go up to Michael and say, "Hey, mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. do you know where this house is?" And he's like, "Oh yeah, it's just mm -hmm. down the down the street." And then they steal the cards, right? So I do think we will see something like that, even though we won't know it's the start of the um, of the game until obviously it releases. But also, like, I know from the I know from the leaks that um fishing is going to be in the game um as well as something that i really want to see is the new carjacking system because yeah, from what i've seen yeah. is that it's going to be way more intuitive than just press y and get in the car um and i want to at least see like what that would kind of look like like it, that would be like it would be a super sick feature for them to like uh, i guess have a better way or more intuitive way of breaking into cars yeah, the current yeah. method of stealing cars in GTA 5 is predictable. 
But I would like yeah. to see maybe, maybe not every, like every time you try to hijack a car, maybe that's not successful. Maybe the person manages to actually drive mm. away by the time you get in. Like, I don't want to, I don't want it to be like a mini game every time. Cause I feel like if you've got to like hack into a car security system every time to steal one, it could get yeah. annoying, but maybe like some of the really high end cars, maybe break into a building to steal them. Maybe on the street, rather than just getting in a car, smashing a window and stealing it, maybe there's more of a, maybe that works for 90% of the cars, but you know, every once in a while, you got to go a bit further. Like in um, Chinatown Wars, you know, that's a Grand Theft Auto game that's mm. not really spoken about a lot, but like in there, you had to hotwire the car um, on a Nintendo DS. Like that was just, and, and on a PSP <laughs> as well. It was just like a cool little... Damn, that's... that's yeah, it was like a cool yeah. little mini game that they added in. However, I don't want it to be that intense. I feel like this goes back to something you said earlier, Jetro, about the balance between realism and fun. Immersion mm -hmm. and fun can work at mm. the same time, but only for a small amount of people. Obviously, this game is being made to be the most commercially viable, to be the most accessible game to as many people as possible. And most people are going to value fun and escapism over realism. I do think that there's going to be a lot more elements of realism because as we've seen, the role-playing market for GTA 6 has just oh, exploded. Insane. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think like, you know, to your point where whether it's like um, uh, getting into cars or whatever, like rather than just pressing Y and just, you know, carjacking guy, getting someone out of the car. There's I don't know if you guys saw in the leaked files, there was um, uh, a Slim Jim where you could actually, yeah, from what it was that. listed in the files, yeah, like you can, you can actually unlock some of the car doors but you can't unlock some of the newer cars because they have like a internal defenses such as barrier blocks mm -hmm. um but for like older vehicles um you may be able to just get in a bit more easy and just hot wire the car and, and just go um and that's probably just more for cars that are you know stationary or whatever but um or like park cars um i i think yeah in terms of what they're going to show in terms of trailer two predictions or whatever other than just maybe perhaps that uh, and i think that's probably going to be more more so in the gameplay trailer but I, I would love to hope that they're going to showcase much more of Jason. But I think now that we're just discussing more so of the, I um, mean, you know, getting into cars or whatever. I don't know. What, what's your guys' thoughts on um, what else you reckon they're potentially going to show within Trailer Two? Because it's, I, I, I think it's going to be particularly interesting to see a little bit more of, of Jason. But, yeah, no, I think yeah. that like in Trailer Two, um, I think there's going to be more of a focus on Jason. I'd say maybe twenty percent of Trailer One was primarily about Lucia, but that was just to some extent Rockstar just flexing. Look, we're doing something different um that was more yeah. to show us what the world's going to be like give us an intro to this female protagonist um and I, I get so many comments about this i know that there's been other female protagonists in gta games but I'm, in the hd and yeah, 3d yeah. universe <laughs> there hasn't been so yeah um i feel like obviously we're going to have an introduction to jason but it's going to be interesting to see what they do with the rest of the trailer like Obviously, as you mentioned, Jetro, they could show other parts of like maybe some not missions, so to speak, but maybe some voice lines that mm. will tie into some of the activities we can expect to be doing in the game. But it would be cool to see some mm. different vehicles and maybe some really weird and interesting locations. Maybe show us a bit about that mm. big lake that's suspected to be in the middle of the map. Um, mm. Like, yes, like yes, just yeah. to show us stuff that isn't. I mean, we've seen the beach in Vice City. Like in Trailer Two, I don't want a panning shot of the beach again. Not interested. Like I want to see. Yeah, we saw yeah, that. Yeah, we saw like, that. Yeah. I want to see more of the yeah. nitty gritty. Maybe some interiors of buildings. Like what do the insides mm. of yeah, like, apartments cool. look like? Maybe maybe show us what a house would look like in GTA Six. Like yeah, mm. yeah. Like, I just want to see. Do yeah, you know interesting, a good, interesting a good example of that is? Up. Do you know the um, fan made trailer by Twelfth Hour? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like oh yeah, that guy. Yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah, yeah, I feel yeah. like in that trailer it's not a real official rockstar trailer it's a fan made <laughs> one but he did put a lot of emphasis on like buildings interiors and things that you can do and it'd be really cool if rockstar took a very similar approach in the sense of you know showing us what actual mechanics are going to be in the game obviously we know from the leaks but how are they going to convey that to a widespread mass scale audience yeah i think you bring up kind of exactly like what i was trying to say earlier is that like i just want to see stuff that's brand new to gta 6 right like we just need a trailer that like you said the uh interiors we know that they're you know they have some new patents for making interiors with ai and whatnot so i just want to see like a bunch of new stuff that was or that is in gta 6 but wasn't in gta 5 that's that's really what i want to start to see from the trailers and and yeah, social media great. as well like what 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 is the importance of social media? Because we saw a lot of social media in G in, in the first GTA 6 trailer. Oh, yeah. 
But like, that mm, still that's right. doesn't that's right. answer the question, why, what, how, where, and when? Yeah, how much How much of an emphasis is it actually going to have on, you know, the, o- the open world of Vice City and Leonard, but also the story as well? Yeah. And that, that's something that, that could be touched upon a little bit more, but yeah, I guess we'll have to wait and see. Um, I cut you off there. What, what else no, were you no, saying? No, 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 that, that, was, that was the only point I had to add to that. It was just the social media. Oh, okay. I was actually just going to add another thing. Um, in terms of like, I know, Jetro, you were saying that like Lamar was in the second trailer with Franklin. That was the yep. opening sort of setting the, the the sort of the scene for the part where they were still in the cars. Obviously, we didn't know that at the time mm-hmm. when the trailer came, but obviously when the game came out, we knew that. Um, I think in terms of in trailer two, I think they will show some side characters. I actually did make a video on this on my channel the other day um, that we may potentially see like Wyman from the leaks i don't know if you guys oh, remember yeah, yeah, one yeah. from the leaks the one break out of the effing cage that yeah, guy. Yeah. um, <laughs> um. I think he's a fun. I think he's a funny side character. I think we're definitely going to. And it seems that from the leaked files that came out, there was actually a bit of a. There was like a collectible or something like that. You could, um, as Jason, do some. I don't know. Collect some type of car parts for Wyman or something yes. like that. Apparently, uh, yeah, in the leaked files, they, 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 yeah, they found out that Wyman and Jason. Well, Wyman and Jason may have like a more of a closer bond in relation to yeah, some type of car so, t- type of thing. I don't know exactly the sort of to extent what we're going to see with that, but I think we're going to be seeing much more of a focus, potentially much more. Or not. I'll say a heavy focus but sort of um, complementing with Jason and Lucia still because obviously they're the main focus um, with potential side characters like like Wyman for example or even Dre but yeah right so next one is um, uh, you know what it's only right if I take this point mm-hmm. how aquatic life and the waterways are going to be a part of the game Ooh. so boats right let me get into it <laughs> <laughs> I actually had some really cool people that actually live in Florida and one person that even lives directly in Miami reach out to me in the comment section and they mentioned that in Miami and in particular Florida, boating is a way of life. Like people go out on the weekends Mm -hmm. on boats, they go on boat tours, they like the waterways do play a big part of the environment. Now in the UK, this isn't something that I'm very familiar with because in the UK, all the ocean around us is cold and rough. So um, like we, like this, I wasn't really too familiar with how waterways and stuff play a crucial part to the the storytelling of the game. But looking at the trailer, the fact that there is 59 boats, I mean, some loser counted. <laughs> uh, <laughs> awkward, uh. <laughs> but the fact there is so many boats in the trailer, and obviously there's a lot of airplanes as well, like pretty much every single shot that you can see the sky in. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> every Literally every shot. It's crazy. Um, and I think that we're gonna see maybe more emphasis on I, I spoke about this in a previous video where i was talking about like the mapping project and how the gta 5 map fits into the gta 6 map and a lot of people are focusing on the land mass they're not no one's really like shifting the focus to the water around it no, and all of those yeah. islands that we're going to expect yeah. to see around mm-hmm. the bottom side of the map especially around the like oh, yeah. the vice city keys um yeah like I think that area will probably be called like Vice Point or something. Like, but that that whole mm, that mm. whole lower part of the map where you've got the different islands and there's little houses on those little islands and there's boat slips and boat ramps and settlements and all sorts of stuff. I feel like a bulk of the fun stuff could happen around there. Like, I feel I think you know Port Port Galhorn is mm. going to be great. Whatever, you know, Vice City is going to be amazing, yeah. but. I feel like the the intercoastal waterways of Miami. Look at me learning big words yeah, all by myself. Yeah. Um, intercoastal. <laughs> <laughs> um, that that part of the map is going to be important um, for the storytelling, for the mm. for the experience we have. I know me personally, like, I'm tired of the really blocky map structure where we've got solid land masses separated by some big rocks, then a bit of sand, then water, and that's it. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. I, I'm, I'm just really looking forward to the way to expand upon that. And of course, in the trailer, we saw things like turtles, we saw dolphins, like there's, there's all sorts mm-hmm. of different water life. And if we're not able to scuba dive or explore into the water properly in a full capacity, they've definitely missed something. But I think it will be the case that we'll be able to explore the water. And also, like we spoke mm-hmm. about this in the last podcast, where it's geographically located, Bermuda Triangle, there's got to be plane wrecks and shipwrecks yep. under oh, the water. Man. It's going to be yeah. insane. Yeah. Yeah, there will be. There will be, for sure. I, I think even just in, because there's so many different bodies of water that based off the map from what we've seen anyways, um, obviously we haven't seen, you know, the official map, but from what the mapping community has done based off the trail and of course the leaks as well, it seems like water is going to have much more of an emphasis. Um, and I think even also in terms of any type of, you know, like activities that we'll be able to do, um, I, I think there might be something that's going to be in relation to potentially spear fishing because I know that in the leaks there was actually fishing that was listed. Um, so 
whether whether we'll be able to do that or not, obviously we don't know at the moment. I hope so. But I think I think seeing that water is going to have much more of an emphasis, and you know the Everglades, the wetlands, or or just even in the um, the Gator Keys, the Florida Keys, wherever, or just in the sort of surrounding areas of nearby city, um, I, I think it's going to be much more of a, yeah, it's going to be much more of an emphasis on it. So, um, what's your thoughts, Jetro? Yeah, uh, and I hope there is a a lot more of an emphasis on it because. Like you were saying about it kind of just being blocky and it's just sand to water and then that's basically mm. it, uh, Cyber. Mm. Like, I, I want the water, like, because exactly like you were saying as well, of, like, water in Miami is like a way of life. Like, they they go to the beach. They're mm. always doing stuff. Surfing? Could that yeah. be an option? Surfing? Oh, that'd be so good. On, We've heard about that. Talk to me. We've heard about Surfing, that. Surfing, yep. that would be sick. Yep. Um, yep. But yeah, basically, like, well one i'm a big mystery guy so I, so like you were saying about the mm. bermuda triangle like i would love to be able to go and scuba dive find different wrecks stuff like that there was a lot yeah. of cool mysteries that you could find in the uh ocean of gta 5 so i i do think that the water will play way more of a role in this game than it did in gta 5 i think in gta 5 it was honestly just a filler to keep you in the map that's Honestly, mm. what it was there for, anything else is just kind of... Like, yeah, it was, it was a I buffer think in zone. Kyle Perico, yeah, in Kyle Perico, you yeah. like scuba dive to the front of the entrance in one of the um, approaches. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, the and start. that was like, yeah, yeah. That was like the most time. And I think they did that for the um, Humane Labs raid as well. Yes. And I think like that's basically yeah, yeah, the extent yeah. of like the use for water in GTA 5, right? Yeah. So yeah, yeah I definitely yeah. could see it playing way more of a role. Yeah, no, 100%. Yeah, also, one thing one thing I forgot to mention, actually, just in relation to um, uh, what I was saying earlier about spear fishing. Did you guys see that there was um, one of the new weapons, uh, the spear gun? Did you see the spear gun? I that did. As one of the no. leaked features yes. in, a part, as a part of uh, the, the leaked yeah, files? So yeah, so there's a spear gun featured as a, an item, well, a weapon item. So like, mm. I think spear fishing is going to be important, but also as well, like in the in the yeah. trailer, the shot where Jason and Sierra are walking out of the shop, there's loads of fishing equipment, fishing nets, fishing fishing rods uh, yeah, behind them. Yeah, that's Obviously, right. Obviously, it doesn't mean it's purchasable. If you've learned anything from GTA 5, <laughs> like, everything in the shops is just yeah. completely inanimate. But <laughs> and yeah. it's going to cost true, 150k. True, true. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, I do think there will be some type of bait and tackle shop, though, similar to RDR2. Yeah. Um, I reckon it'll be something like that. That'd be sick. That actually would be sick. We hope you enjoyed part one. Part two will be coming tomorrow, so make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification to be notified when that episode comes out. A little footnote in the edit here. Sorry for this being two parts. It was just because it was taking so long to edit. So that's why we're splitting it down into two episodes. It just gives me another day to finish off editing the second half. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. Your support has been massively appreciated. Remember as well, we've launched Vice Clothing, so the links are all down below. And make sure you go and subscribe to Jetro. He's an amazing creator and today he's just dropped an incredible video so go and check it out.